Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. It's been a while since I've played this one. Mountain Core, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Well, renovating a house too, but Mountain Core has kind of a deadline. They're going to release to early access soon, so I took a break from this to get a few episodes of that one recorded. I don't see any series being created on the game yet when I search YouTube for it. I seem to be the only one that's gone beyond three episodes. So it'd be kind of fun for, you know, to be uh, the only one out there with a series at, right at the very beginning of a game. Uh, okay, all kinds of things popping. Uh, Paulette Illness. She came down with pneumonia just before uh last one is suppressed she needs another treatment actually edmund would be the best one to do that but i just sent him off to go and and start working on traps so let's just grab whoever's closest to the um uh, these things what do you call them? antibiotics yes that word would not happen in my brain you are paulette yeah so why don't you Go and heal. Actually, Carter's already getting up. All right, I'll let you do it. Carter kind of likes Paulette anyway, so that seems appropriate. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Um, okay, so that's that one. And new research stimulants. Umiar is not up researching. So somehow Rita, who's out on a mission, not only discovered buzz shrooms. Oh, because she discovered buzz shrooms, we now have the ability to research stimulants. That's why we got a double pop there. Okay, because Rita, when she goes out on on uh, expeditions, which she's eight hours away from getting to the self-destruct alert, she has a chance of discovering Buzz room, buzz shrooms. These cone looking mushrooms don't appear to be poisonous. Upon ingesting a small sample, it caused a tingling sensation on my tongue. Shortly after that, I felt a surge of energy as I got a boost from adrenaline. That's why I'm calling these buzz shrooms. Oh boy. <laughs> Better than a monster energy drink, huh? We could use them to make tea or process them into energy stimulants. So, available will be harvesting, planting, boiling, and stimulant technology. Okay. Let you run. You're going to go build some traps. And that's over here. We are, we are studying the ancient language from that last place that uh, Edmund went to. And... That's what I want. Research. After that, well, I would think it'd be over here. Resources stimulants contain substances known to speed up messages traveling between the brain and body. With a bit of careful experimentation, uh, it could be some fun experiment. We could extract a concentrated paste of these substances and smoke uh, healing too. Smoke it to become more alert, awake. <laughs> And confident and energetic. Where is this going? I can't do it until I have made my first buzz shroom. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Carter got to healing too. We learned about those. And Umiar bragged about their good meal. No, Carter bragged about his good meal. Okay. Um, Simon is transporting. Okay, scrap. We're loading up all of the traps with scraps. We can go and build them all. Wow. There's, you can barely see the little purple hue in here. So he's working on these. Simon's going to work on all the rest. Wow, they brought a lot of scrap out all at one time. That's why I wanted to have a huge supply of that available when this hit. Lost harvest. There are beetroots that could be harvested. Beef berries. So we're losing a bunch of harvest over here. These are the chew roots. That's what that is. Yeah. So <clears throat> should be able to see these guys kind of vanishing before our eyes. Okay. That's fine. I think we're doing okay otherwise. Bunch of thumps. You guys are building the traps. 
I'm not sure if it's this episode or next. We're going to see our next attack. And I don't think we need to, to do anything with this anymore. I think we're done over here. Umlayar came all the way down here to play with the dartboard. Unpowered device, tilted floodlight. Take me to it. We just built this. And we have no power yet. Okay, so Carter's been busy building things. Carter, can you build some power? Those two, and that's it, just the two. That should power up this area. Okay, so you're gonna go grab some wood over here, and Edmund is busy building those. Simon delivered the rest of the of the scrap metal. Yep, it's all there. And Edmund's gonna go get a drink. He needs some coffee, it's a cold day out here. Where are we, by the way? We are not even halfway through winter. Waiting for these guys to happen, but we gotta wait for spring for them to start growing. You know, energy crystals <clears throat> that you grow, that just feels strange to me. I've got to I've got to say that. I was thinking about that earlier. I think KK's grandma wrote in on an earlier episode and got me, or when we first discovered these guys in the list down here, where we have noticed now the buzz shrooms. But the thought of growing a crystal that creates energy for a power cell is a weird thought. You'd think you'd be mining those out of the stone or something, or discovering them where we find the CPUs, uh, you know, part of a advanced spaceship where, uh, you know, harvest their dilithium crystals. Wish I could say that in Scotty's accent, but uh, that that's a weird mechanic they came up with there. I, I'm, I don't know. I think that could have been done a little bit differently. Now you are working on poles, you are working on traps. Paulette is adding to our food supplies, which are what right now? We've got three quick meals, we've got one tasty meal, and we've got no chef's meals. We are behind on foods. Wow. Rita is away. She's also a chef. She could be helping out. Um, Simon is transporting... He's filling these guys up. With what? Let's think about that. We need alloy. We have 40 alloy now, so we must have finished cooking something. We don't need any more concrete yet, though we do need repairs. Cement. We do need the ability to repair this stuff, which could happen with our next attack. So let's have Simon, who is in decent shape except for relaxation. Simon, why don't you, when you're done with that, come on in here and sit down for a little bit. And then come out here and bake three rounds of concrete and the rest of it, if we have enough alloy. Or... 40. We can do four of them. Okay, so you are going to right there. Alloy from ore. And nothing. And alloy from ore. This one is already being used. I don't know. Oh, you are maybe in the process of doing something with it. It's only giving me this right now. Okay. Wait till you get there and do your thing. Somebody built another snowman. We have a snow couple. <laughs> Doesn't say who built, right? No. Okay. So, back to S Simon. There we go. Can you, you can interact with us now. So, alloys from ore. Okay. So, you go sit down, get your relaxation up. It'll get your happiness up. You'll be great for the rest of the day. And, kind of... What are you up to? You are working on another round of boots, which is great to use your skills. Your tailoring skills now are what? Crafting, 10, you're maxed out. And boy, we are thumping away at these traps. We're gonna be ready for whatever hits us next, which I'll get back to Khan in a second, but I got to thinking about this game in my, my pause between episodes. I was wondering, we've had some pretty easy attacks against us over here. Because we didn't have a lot of, of defense systems in place. It seems like RimWorld, as soon as you got, say, 20, 30 turrets to take out anything, it, the game ramped up what was coming against you. The more turrets you put out, the more enemies you had to fight. It wasn't worth putting out 20 or 30 turrets. They, they would, you know, wipe you out anyway. So I wonder if now that we've got all this built, if this adds to our either the colony's wealth, which I think is how RimWorld works, 
or simply by these existing at all means that we now get a whole different category of enemy coming at us. Be curious to see what this next attack is because they've been pretty calm. They're going to weave their way through. We're going to be up here and under our inside of our little structure here, hopefully with with railgun snipers able to shoot them over here as they're coming around before they even enter and hit their first trap. By the time they finally get to here, I'm hoping they'll all be gone. But if not, this guy's going to be shooting down the run right here at them. This guy's going to be flaming them as they come around the corner. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We'll have to position a couple of people over here and the rest of them over here. So, short little pew pew pews over here. Kana. Is that all that's left? And Paulette. Hmm. I guess Paulette needs to be over here too. Yeah. And further back. So they can't reach over and hurt them. So we won't take any more injuries. Okay. Anyway, I was talking about Kana when I got distracted. Because that got me thinking that we have... She's on shoes, which is the last of the the uh, carbon armors, which means we've got a bunch of carbon arbors to ham out again. So, Carter, when you are done, see if I can figure out how to do this. There we go. You only have shoes. So let's give you shoes and a uh, carbon vest. So when you're done, you go pick that up. Paulette, <clears throat> you only have shoes too. So let's do the same thing. Rita has a helmet. Let's give her... You're not here, so I can't even... Okay. So you've got a helmet and shoes. Or, well, actually boots, but I call them shoes. You just grab you a... Leggings, right? Oh, we have synthetic leggings, too. And they're actually pretty impressive. Let's give you the carbon leggings. And Edmund, you can have the... You've got nothing right now. So when you are available, let's give you the carbon leggings as well. And let's give you a helm. And Kana, you've got the leggings. So let's give you the other helm and give you the boots. You're not there? I wonder if I just can't get down far enough. Let's see, if I were to back up. No, you haven't made any, so they're not there. Okay. Well, I think I've handed everything out then. So we'll get back to you. Try to remember to start with you two first next time. But if she takes a break now, I have a feeling she's going to start making helmets. Or whatever the first on the list. And put this thing on a shelf. There is that. She's not going to finish it when something opens up earlier in the list. And that's too bad. Um, <clears throat> when is Rita coming back? Time remaining zero. So I guess we're going to pop into her uh, her exploration story here in just a moment. Things are growing over here? Not really. It's kind of stagnant. There we are. Expedition complete self-destruct alert. The entire area is littered with items from a ship's weaponry deck. The place is seemingly calm, dominated by a single sound. The automated voice of a self-destruct system counting toward zero. I have time to get a single object. What should it be? <laughs> a damage spec ops pistol. <clears throat> a damage spec ops pulse rifle. A damage spec ops sniper. Or whatever weapon you can find. Okay, so these three give you other research, whereas this gives you a weapon. So, hmm. What's that saying? Do you give somebody a fish or do you teach them how to fish? I think we definitely want the research. What's it going to be? Now, a pulse rifle that can stun them and be even more effective than what we have. I can see a lot of value there. We've got the railgun snipers and they're doing a pretty good job. So I'm thinking I'm going to play with this one. Let's do that so we can stun them more effectively before they ever get to us. Shoot them long distance. Let's see how that works. But that was a good, 
let's fact, let's go look at that again. You are here, so you are. Oh, space bar pops into it. Interesting. You're here. Now, when I guess this is gonna blow up, so this is gonna be gone. It's not gonna leave something behind for us to go back to over and over again. And you, sight of an alien crash, so. We're not going to get to see what the benefit is until we have learned the language. Okay. So, you are military ship debris. Can be searched for weapons indefinitely. That was your bonus. Okay. Out of you. Rita is on her way back. She's at least 10 hours away. Well, it doesn't say yet, but it should be a 10-hour trip. So, she's gone for the day. Traps are... Simon is transporting 13. That's enough to get this guy going. Yeah. We're going to have two turrets up online. And when that's done, I can... You're just... Oh, Simon. I always get Simon and Edward. Edmund? Edmund mixed up. So Simon delivers, Edmund builds. And he's building a trap. Let's... Get you instead to build this. And once that is done... Then we can get it onto circuit three and be triggered by our motion sensor. Yep. Thump. Lots of snow. Everybody's kind of doing their thing over here, right? Lumiar is researching, Paulette's eating, Simon's handling. Simon's handling. He delivered. Oh, he delivered because he emptied the furnaces. Okay, he's del he's emptying some more too. Transporting 27. We actually need 30 over here, but this is paused, so he's not going to bring it over. Okay. Did this one get filled? 10 fuel. Okay, one hour's worth. One hour's worth. Some of those battles last longer than an hour. I wonder if that's a hour for me or an hour for the game huh before it gets dark I've done this at times in the dark you are dead you are poo <laughs> you are dead do we have a bunch of new birds that have popped in you are dead wow where's the nest yeah, you start seeing a bunch of dead animals. You start seeing those... I can't even think of what the birds are called now. I call it giant chickens. Big angry chickens, too. Must have been a nest moved in. Though I'm not seeing the nest. Which means they may have also died from picking on something bigger than them until it overwhelmed them. But normally I do this at night, kind of roaming around seeing what is in the area. And I thought, you know, this time I'll do it during the day so we can all see it better. I have a feeling that I see things better on my monitor than you guys do trying to watch a video. Anything behind us that's new? There's a Pankoth. Up in here. All those butcher jobs over there, all those dead animals... They were mostly rotted away, so it's not worth sending our people out to go and, and uh, take advantage of the meat. I don't see that nest, so it must not be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. You're just regular mining. Okay. It would have to be fairly close. It would have to be in here. I've never seen... These guys go at each other, so it's not like they had a battle. Something else got in here and did this. But yeah, that nest isn't here, so I don't know. Don't have enough evidence to be sure. Alright, let you guys go. And actually, I thought it was running while I was doing that. That was the point. Oh well. Makes the video a little longer that way. Improved pulse rifles. Refining of the recoil suspension mechanism of the basic pulse rifle. Must have fun writing that one. Allows for stronger blast waves of the updated design given there are enough cells of power such a mon to power such a monster. Am I seeing four power cells? 
Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Have we planted enough here? I'm actually kind of questioning that. You extend. So we grabbed all of the green that... Well, we could extend into here. So do that again. You look like you're a 2x2. Two two. So extend. I've got to make sure... There we go. Start there and go there. And then extend again. I guess... Hmm... There. Got to land in just the right spot to do it. I'll take you to there. And all the way up to there. I'm trying to get as little red in there as possible. And let's take you to there across. As well as down to there. Alright, we'll call that good. So that could be planted yet. Maybe when Rita gets back we'll add those in it. These haven't done much. 3% of growth. And you individually, 3%. Yeah. Okay. Having my own bedroom here is a treat. Yeah, that's a new saying. I haven't heard anyone come up with that before. Constructing traps. Edmund is still working on that turret. Wow, that was a bigger job than I gave it credit. Mr. Pankoff flying through. So you... Carter Reach Construction 9. You are off limits, offline. You automatically dropped into Control Circuit 3 because we copied this one to put it there. Ah, that's nice. Nice when that happens. <clears throat> Getting something to eat. Edmund likes buttermelon pie. His happiness is not that bad, but is there? There isn't one. Okay, never mind. That's the next best thing, I guess. But he enjoys a good old buttermelon pie. Yeah. If it's anything like pumpkin pie, then I do too. So we can sit back and take a seat by the fire here and yeah, just kind of relax and watch what's happening. Carter's got his helmet on. Looks like he's ready to go mount his motorcycle. Simon's got one too. <laughs> ah, Paulette has got her uh, her jacket on her vest. Is that what we're calling them? Something like that. And Umliar is still in his sleeveless uh, shirt and uh, biker vest. There. <laughs> Need to get him a helmet. Although the beanie looks pretty good, I will say. All right, so we're still constructing traps. Maybe go ahead and get this guy going, too. I don't know when the next attack is coming. It's bound to be soon. But if we get two of these and two of these, and there's suddenly a big difference in the kind of monsters that come at us, then we'll know that really is a thing. The more you can defend yourself, the more it sends to you to defend against. That would be my suspicion. That would make sense. Card is appreciating a mushroom torch. Simon is transporting meat pies, it looked like. I think that was a meat pie. You are dried meat. So how are things doing in here? Uh, group buy. Uh, I think that, yeah, that bar is the, the, sh the shelf life. So they're all almost maxed. Same thing here, though the dried meat's a little low. Out over here, this shelf, if I were to do that, even the bug meat's in pretty good shape. We are sitting at 15 degrees inside of our freezer, which is way below freezing. Simon is transporting fuel. Okay, going to get this going, and then we need fuel to get this going. So, transporting 30, and it takes 30. I would have thought he would have grabbed something for both. Nope, that's all he was willing to do. He wanted to go to bed. So you have had nothing brought to you yet. We do have 20 available. Carter is constructing a trap. Um, yes, 2200. In fact, it is 2200. What if I sent you to bed instead? Why don't you do that? That way you get up early and start your day. You're going to get out there just in time to bang on one trap, then you're going to go home. You... 
Actually, you could at least bring the supplies over. Edmund sleeps really fast, so it doesn't matter if he works through the night. He goes to bed at 4 in the morning, he'll be up by 6 or 7 and be fully rested. So I don't worry about Edmund. So, do we start the process of transporting all of these traps into the remaining spaces? And where best to use the um, incendiary traps? I would... I'm going to guess that they would do damage to multiple enemies. So you don't want it to be the first one. That first fastest one is going to go over there and boom, and he's the only one that it affected. Where would they most likely be all bunched up and you'd want them to hit a trap? And is there the sense of an area of damage? If I put it here to stop somebody from attacking the flamethrower, would I blow up my own flamethrower? It does make sense, though. Maybe here. But I don't know what the area of damage is. But here, they're either going to turn the corner, or they're going to want to try and beat up these flamethrowers. In which case, this is kind of a, a, a protection for them. Five ore. Wow. Or alloy. Alloy. Okay. Let's put one there and one there and just see if that's a thing. In which case, it's probably one here, but that might blow the fence up. We'll see how those react. We'll see how these work. Okay. Oh, that was a Rita I was hearing. Zoom in here. There she is. And get down a little lower. And there she is. Yeah, it's hard to follow them. But you are going to just go equip some, some shoes. Okay. Oh, that means your shoes died. You ran out. Yeah, your shoes have disintegrated. Let's have you, if they exist... Turns in if Kana finish that pair. Can you instead? You cannot. <clears throat> I don't see any shoes. Interesting. There is a pair in there. It just doesn't show up on the list. But there aren't any of the good ones. There are some synthetic leggings. And she has a synthetic top. Let's give her the leggings as well. That way she'll match. There's shoes over here too. Yeah, we need to get her in boots soon. But Rita as well. Go ahead and grab the synthetic leggings. Yeah, I'm going to equip and equip. Okay, so that gets you set up. And then you are actually in pretty good shape. Your rest is good. You slept on the way back. So you could immediately head out and start dealing with a lot of harvesting. Wow, there's a lot of harvest going on for a dead of winter. These... I don't think we had these growing last time. We only just discovered these just before winter hit. I think it was way up on top of there. So there wasn't time to really grow them yet. Okay. They're all dying right before our eyes, though. That's why this is adding up. Yeah. But she'll take care of whatever she can. Um, or she'll go to sleep. But she won't sleep for long. Edmund is continuing to work on this. Kana is... She... came out here to get... That's interesting. Did she... She didn't go walking all the way up there. No, we have plenty of carbon nanotubes. So why does she grab carbon nanotubes out of here? I wonder where she had been before that. I don't know. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to send Simon off tomorrow to go and get another load of these. The fastest walk. Don't know that he would bring back the most, but he would definitely get there and back. How many are up here? Should I send him and, say, Carter? Uh, up here. So up in here we've got... Oh, that 170 is including these. I forgot about that. 
Ah. So what's been happening up in here? Another death, and you're eating it. I wonder if the cold is killing some of them off instead of the uh, the really angry chicken birds. They have a name. I just forgot it. <laughs> yeah, she must have come up and hauled these in to make her next thing. Okay, so Simon, you need... No, Carter and Edmund. Am I running? Yeah. Carter and Edmund both need to go up there and do some more mining and then haul back a load each. I think that's tomorrow's plan. Carter's constructing. He is... Let's get him to grab something to eat, then he can head up there. And our batteries are mostly full. Good. These windmills are doing a great job. 20 out of 40. Oh. So 40 accumulative, and each are doing 20? I don't know. Anyway, so... Carter likes bread. Is there any bread? No. And no. So your happiness is fine anyway. In fact, it really is fine. Why don't you come up and grab some bush roots? And then hop up here, there, and mine. And maybe even mine some more. Okay. I'm noticing that when I'm already have the WASD pushed down and hit another button I can't change my directions like I can right now I never used to do that before so a little bit of a bug has worked its way into this game several times now I've tried to turn and couldn't and had to just stop and then start up again so something has has uh, changed a little bit whenever they add to a game there's always a chance that it's going to interfere with something else in a way they never expected it to and then they just wait for folks to write them in you know write in and tell them so they can go look for the problem you are transporting 10 of those to those uh bombs or um incendiary traps okay so i'm looking for an edmund you just came in and went to sleep and when you're done you're going to grab a buttermelon pie no are we out of buttermelon i think we're out of buttermelon um, food, seven buttermelons, that's what it is. Buttermelon is a thing. So Rita, when you're done, why don't you come straight down and harvest that buttermelon? Just before it dies on us. And then you can go back to eating or whatever you need to do. Um, I was doing something. Edmund, when you are done, you're going to grab something to eat. So your happiness is fine too. We'll give you, oh, a grain porridge. And then let's get you up in here and grab something that isn't already set up. Another five. And are there any more? And another five. So, Carter, you still have your eight more? You do. Okay, so you guys are going to do that. Carter didn't need any relaxation. Edmund, I think he'll be fine without it. He's got everything else in good shape. He'll have be maxed out on rest and food, so that will help out a lot. Simon is transporting... Um, did these get done? I guess they did. You are transporting wood to something. There's nothing here calling for wood that I'm aware of. So you are just picking up and hauling? You are. Okay. So in that case, you could use something to eat. And I think meat pie is your favorite. So you grab that one. And then let's get in here and do the same thing. We've still got ten ore. We have 20 ore left. I'm pretty sure there is nothing else that you we use ore for. It's just for this. So let's have you then smelt ore and smelt ore. And then I guess stone is plenty. Let's finish it off with concrete. And then, I don't know what, to, maybe bricks after that. Um, concrete up there. We need to think about replacing probably these walls here and these walls here so that if the bugs try to attack what is attacking them they're going to go right through this that was just an experiment to see if it works we still haven't seen it work I want to see that even though we are all inside here they're going to work their way around and come in this way 
So that's the reason I wanted to seal this all off. And if that proves to be, then I guess if they still exist, they may not. But there was a dog out here one time. I'd have to go search everything to go find it, but it was kind of out in this area. You're a pancoth. So they will come and go like the other animals will come and go. So it's quite possible that we missed that opportunity. I'm not... He's not obvious. I would think he'd stand out well against the snow. Yeah. So we'll start searching for... There you are. Bleeding out in one day. Oh, really? You're going to do that to me? <clears throat> Nothing I can do to heal him. Paulette, you can't come over here and interact. Tame and hunt. Yeah. So, this dog is is uh, not long for this world, unfortunately. Because whenever the animals start to bleed out, there's no fixing them. They won't. The game won't let us put bandages on them. At least not unless they're already ours and there's no time to go and tame and do all that. So, we'll wait for another one to pop in. But we got to see that one one last time. Unless with that final or the, that more recent update, the full release of the game, they, they fixed that. They, they did add that if you get them up to training level 5, that you can then click on them and direct them, right-click them, go over here. Rather than waiting for a human to go up there and painstakingly forever guide them to their place. Oh, that was painful. So that's not the thing anymore. So Rita, you did get that one gone. Good. You're going to clean these up. And then you're going to go clean what's left of those up. And maybe you'll get into planting some more of these. Thunder. Another snowstorm coming in. Um, and we're, I've been talking and we're running. 11 o'clock. Oh, that's right. I did tell him to do it. So you guys are up here already. Oh, good. I'm thinking, man, I just wasted half a day. <clears throat> Yep, they're fine. So they're tapping away. Kana is working on this. The, the, you know, I could still get Simon to go and pick those up. Let's see what he's doing when he's done with these. He's in great shape. I'll just do it. So race up over here and pick up what you can. So when you're done, haul those and get back before Kana. Falling spaceship debris is dropping in way over here compared to where we are mining right now. It is way away from us. There you are. So we can get a good angle. There. Wow. <clears throat> yep. We are... I'm lost. There we are. Get the noble drone out. Flying through the through the sky. So Paulette's cooking. Simon is going to handle these and take off. Rita is doing... She did all that to bring in five. Really? I wonder if it died out on her just as she was doing it. Only five. Huh. Okay, well, we have 27 now. Now you're going to go and harvest the rest of these. See what you can bring in. These have been sitting out here all this time. No, so she's just harvested them. Or cut them. They're still 100%. So that is new. So what else is happening? We did get these built. We're loaded. And they are not on a power system. These guys are ready to fire as soon as something is triggered by this guy, which is a good size radius. So anything approaching, well, from this direction, there is that. You take six power just to sit here and, and be up and running. <clears throat> I guess if I had two of these, if I, as long as I had these same settings, they would do the same thing, right? Is there a point of putting another one over here? 
huh, catch them if they're coming in from the woods or from the, you know, from around this corner. Otherwise, it's not going to trigger till they're already in our, our system here. Hmm. A little future proofing I'm wondering about. If I were to make a copy of you, I forgot to check to see what. Oh, it takes a CPU. Okay. So actually, we need to be more in this area to give us a good overlap. So we run out right there. So getting it over here is not as beneficial. I think it's right there, which means we got to lose that tree. It's green. But it's not green right there. That's weird. But right there is not as beneficial. We got to move, and we need power too. Looks like it's kind of over here. Yeah. Why is it red? Uneven terrain. Can I build up on top? What is on top? Oh, up on top. Oh, I forgot about that. That's our next construction. Yeah, I want to get missiles ready to go. Okay. And your attack area. Let's... Will it let me? It will. The attack area I'm thinking of is right over here. So as they are heading into this area, though we could destroy some of our traps, huh? I think that's where we'd want it to be. As they're entering, but not so close to the fence that we could blow the fence up. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd thought about over here. Kind of get them as they, as they came around, but I'm thinking of them always coming from this direction. I guess in the end, we will position this based upon where we are going with that particular raid of that of that time. So I'll place you right there for now. But it's not even built, so it doesn't matter. Okay, insufficient materials. Yep, but we are almost dealing with that. We could make some more from scrap. We could. So is there a, a, a limit? Okay, alloy from scrap. Let's maintain... Um, how do I deal with that? What is that? Carbon footprint. Oh, we just hit an achievement. So I guess we mined a certain amount of carbon. Until we've got... Let's try to always have 20. If we can't do it with ore, then we'll do it with scrap metal. Okay, that makes sense. So in which case, I could have Simon... Uh, right there, who is transporting. Okay, you're going to then refuel. Uh, okay, next is refuel. Then you'll get some food. Okay, so we're coming into our second evening, which means the attack, if there is one, it's going to be next episode. And hopefully it's not in the middle of the night again. Last two, maybe three, have been in the middle of the night. Dark. That's... It's doable. We've got floodlights now, but now we got two floodlights. Oh, did you get turned on? You didn't. So you get to move over to circuit three. So you also will turn on with let's pause with um, the motion sensor triggering the area. So we don't need this lit up right now. We don't need to pay for that electricity. Um, Paulette's cooking. Connor's tailoring. Umar is researching. Umar, can you come over here and handle this? tilted floodlight for me and get that switched off. Okay. Oh! Oh, Rita's planting. Boy, I was, thought it was Rita's harvesting energy crystals. No. But she is going to plant the rest of them, so it's going to let her. Hmm. So we just pulled off ten more alloy. Ten more is coming out of here. And then we switch to concrete. And we are going to be three short. So more alloy is needed. More ore is needed. More ore. Is that... No, that's all stone. Rock. Okay. Ore is probably right there. We know there's some over here. And here? That's stone. But is this stuff that's ore? Okay. I think this is too. So, depending on how the attack hits next time... Maybe we can go and take care of that too. You guys are still mining. I, I kind of forgot you, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Haul in. And 
Edmund haul in. <laughs> yeah, forgot about them. They are going to be cranky tomorrow. Man. Okay, planting. Let's watch that. Okay, I'm good to see those going in. Connor's writing. That's a nice change. So she's going to make more stories. Do we have stories already in stock? They're stored right here. We have none. At least I think they're stored right there. Um, stories. What was that under? I don't remember. Others? Short stories, yes. And smoke leaf pipes. Which we haven't put in here for a long time. Do we have smoke leaf? We have dried smoke leaf. So I guess that just kind of got turned off. That wouldn't hurt putting that back in. So dried smoke leaf pipes. Limit reached. Zero. <laughs> Until we have four. Don't need a bunch of them, but it'd be kind of nice to have those in stock. Okay, because there's a couple of them, like uh, Paulette, who's a smoker. Right there. She likes smoking. And was it Simon? Yeah, Simon did too. Remember that from the very first episode. So two snowmen there. One over here. Is that it? That is it. Nothing further down. They must do it a certain distance from where they live. Rather than just anywhere they happen to be at the time. Rita had to go down here to do darts. Well, I wish I could say don't use this unless I specify. Yeah, no such thing. Okay. Simon is handling a furnace. Why did he come down here? He probably came down for sticks. Are we low on sticks? That is hay. Sticks are 56 and a bunch of them are down here. So we need to do some bushes. Is that what you guys are? You are broadleaf bushes. Any reason why not to take that whole group out? Probably fine. We've got so many of them available. I don't think we need to plant them to replace these. Let's do that. Yeah. So, boy, it's been a long time since I've put in a cut order. How do you do that anymore? There. Put these cut orders in. And do that as well. Oh, it didn't. It waited for me to click. Even though I had done it this way. That's interesting. Must be something else in there that's not. I must have gone over this guy too. And so it, it made me have to choose. Okay. What's over here? That's more ore. No, that's rock chunks. Okay. And we needed those because we're building all the concrete. That's why they're queued up. Okay, well, most of our traps are in. Those, some of the more important ones, be nice if, you know, right in here and right there got done. But don't ask Edmund or Carter to do anything for the next day. Yeah, there's a meltdown coming. Mmm. And he walks really slow. I think, yeah, I think I blew it here. Simon, when you wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to be in decent shape. Okay, so Edmund, let's draft, undraft. You run in and go to bed. Go eat some, yeah, buttermelon pie. That will help you out. Hopefully you get there in time. Simon, when you're done, you come out here and haul these when you wake up. So go to going to sleep and then transporting. Carter, how are you doing? You're pretty rough. You're further ahead, though, aren't you? Where are you? Carter's over here. He went different route. He's going down this way. I think he'll make it. I hope he does. Although Simon did make a delivery. So Khan is going to be fine for a little while. Yeah. Okay. Well, with that, I think I'll wait long enough to see that Edmund doesn't break. <laughs> I still want to get through this series without anybody breaking down and having a, a tantrum. You know, I don't know what it would be. So it could develop a meltdown. So meltdown is the is the word here. Okay. Look at that moon. 
Wow. And we still need to decide one of these days what to do about all of the ore that is out here. Ore deposits, 31. It's all through this area. 23. Over there. None over here. There's 40-some in this entire area. Yeah. So, but it's such a long walk. It'd be like sending them out there to go get the, uh, you know, the, the nanotubes. Wish we had a bug nest a little closer. I shouldn't say that out loud, huh? One will show up right here next episode. <laughs> All right, so Edmund's getting something to eat. And he is going to sit down. And I think we kind of started this episode right about here, didn't we? Edmund, let's see what happens. Your happiness is at 10%. Boom, extremely unhappy. And continuing to eat. Somewhat fed. Oh, decently fed. Well fed. Happiness is now low. He survived. Okay. So with that, I think we will call this episode finished. Carter, he's on his way back, but he, I think he's going to make it too. So with that, yep, I think we'll... Uh, We'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.